So this semester, I'm teaching a business math class, and this topic of finding the elasticity of demand is super interesting. It's real life, and you also see this in microeconomic. So I want to share this with you guys. So here's the situation. Let's say we are selling graphing calculators. Originally, if the price is $80, then the demand is $200. Then, if we increase the price to $100, of course, the demand will be dropped it, and I said the demand is going to be just 140. By the way, which situation do we make more revenue? The first one, right? Because you can just do this times this, compare with this times that. So don't increase the price. But anyway, though, we are going to see how to find the elasticity of demand in this situation. So to do this, capital E for the elasticity. This is defined to be we look for the percentage change in the quantity, which is the demand right here, and then divided by the percentage change in the price. And the idea of the elasticity kind of tells you how drastic that the demand will be changed according to your price change. If it's less than one, that means this situation is called the inelasticity. Oh, this is so hard to inelastic. If it's less than one, that means it's not going to change that much. But if the E number is greater than one, then the elasticity of demand <laughs> it's called elastic. That means it's going to be a bigger stretch. Okay, now let's do the math. So for the top right here, let's see for this. Remember to find the percentage change. We always do the new, yeah, minus the old. So this is 140 minus the old, or the original, and then divided by the original. And then technically, you can just look at the absolute value. And oh well, yeah, right here, the capital E, you just want to look at it as a positive number. So this right here, you don't need to put down the absolute value. But anyway, though. If you work this out, this is going to be negative 60 over 200 and work that on your calculator, that's negative 30%. So you can see that the percentage change in quantities drops by 30%. Yeah. So on the top here, this is going to be 30%. Technically, it was a negative, but I'll put up for you. So yeah. And then right here for the bottom, the percentage change in price. Again, we do the new minus the old divided by the old, which is 80. So we have done a few of the percentage change videos in the past, right? Very, very useful. You see that all the time in the business world. All right, in this case, let's see. That's negative 20 over 80, and that's going to be negative 25%. No, positive 20%. Positive 25%. 20, this is positive 20, so yeah. So we increase the price by 25%. You put it down right here, 25%. Then the absolute value makes the negative positive, and also the percentage, percentage they just cancel. You can just do 30 divided by 25. Work that out on your calculator also, and you end up with 1.2. So. E is equal to 1.2, which is greater than 1. So in this situation, we say this is elastic. Right? So hopefully you guys find this interesting. That's it.